So we're back with another video. And so we're going to start uh, setting this form up for the assignment or make it more in tune with what the assignment's going to have. So we're going to take out uh, this input box uh, and probably tweak this message here. But let's get back and uh, take a look. So in here, we uh, won't need this input or these BRs. I'm going to take those out. Uh, I'll say enter the JSON below. I'm going to clear this out completely. I actually don't want to have any other extra text in here because eventually I just want raw JSON in there and nothing else. And we'll probably uh, change the message on this button or the text on this button to load the list. And then we're also going to have, uh, actually, I'm in the wrong spot. So this is the div. So we're going to say uh, the map will show up here. And up here is the text I want to change to load the list. And after that, we'll add a select there. So that's not too bad. Let's go. Uh, that's auto save. So we'll go refresh. Enter the JSON below. Load the list. Now nothing. Well, we still. This is still tied to the other message or function, I should say. What's it saying? Oh, that's good. It should blow up, right? Because we took out the input. That's okay. We'll clean that up shortly and start changing uh, what we want to happen in that function. So let's get this uh, sort of working. Uh, we've got to jump back into the code. We need to give the uh, select, an, a lit, an, I guess, an ID and also the text area. So we'll call this, uh, I guess we could call it anything. Uh, JSON or list JSON. So this is the or JSON data list uh, data as JSON. Just remember, be careful about the case. Well, the match that exactly. So I'm going to hunt this down, and this is always a question on the code side: inner HTML or value. This is a control, so I'm going to try value first uh, and that. So that's why I can find the text area, and I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to have to find this list eventually. And so we'll call this the park list, because this will have a list of park names and that. So, so far, is that enough? Actually, I don't want to use name. I'm in the wrong one, wrong attribute. I'm actually going to try to put that in ID just to be consistent in my code that I always go get element by ID to find a control. So the idea is they're going to put some JSON into the text area and then I'm going to need to grab that. And so when they click, uh, we'll not call update div, we'll call load the list, which doesn't exist yet in that. So I'm just going to grab this name. And that, then we'll go into this script and we'll just start a new function. And we'll call it load list. And we will borrow some code here just to prove that we haven't broken anything. Baby steps inside. We'll change this to load list. Okay. So let's give that a shot to make sure that part's still working. So we need to refresh this. And the idea would be when I click on load list, I'm inside load list. That's good. That's what I want. <laughs> okay. So then we'll go back. That part's working. So one step at a time, really important. We'll set up a var. Uh, and this is where we're going to go. Uh, we'll go data as JSON is going to be equal to document dot get 
element by ID. And then we have to give it the ID. And it's always best if the files there just go and we'll grab this here. And we'll go dot value. It's a property, so we don't need parentheses. And then the question would be, we need to turn this into an actual uh, JSON object. And so this is really uh, data as JSON. Yes. And then we'll have another var. Data as I want to call it JS for JavaScript, a proper JavaScript object. JavaScript object notation is text. This will be hopefully <laughs> right, and then we'll have to go uh, JSON dot parse. That'll parse the text. What text do we want to parse? Data as JSON, and we could do a little thing where we uh, for now console dot log. Data as JS. Okay, so this could go boom uh, in that. And so one thing is, where's the JSON in that? And so the JSON, we may not have put the, the folders here, and we will try the 4326. So this is some JSON here. We can grab that. So Control A, Control Copy. We're going to need it once we go back to the page here and go refresh, and then pop that in. And then what we should probably do is do a debug session sources, and we will put a breakpoint right there, just so that we stop. Right? We want to see did you know? Uh, are we actually getting something back? Uh, and that does it make sense? And so we'll go load the list, and we're at this line. And we have variables that we can take a look at. So uh, data as JSON came back, right? So that is the text that we put in there. Uh, and that. And so it's looking okay. Uh, what we're hoping is that when we step over this next line, it doesn't go boom on us. And it has not. So it says that it is an array now. So instead of just being text, uh, what you'll see is all these quotes and that. If we take a look at the, this is the JSON version down below, and this is the array version. So it groups it in like, like a rows of conceptually a rows of a hundred basically so the first hundred rows and how it's set up as a javascript object so that there is a key value pair where the first is the text right the name of the park and then the value which is the lat uh, la uh, longitude well <laughs> yeah longitude followed by the latitude in this case so x y uh orientation so it did come across we were able to get the json well the raw json which is just text out of the text area convert that into a proper javascript object and we have a an array of javascript objects that we can use to feed the select list i'll do a separate video of how did i actually make this json out of the database because this is a pull out of tables uh, for this module that exists back in our Postgres database. And I use techniques in the database to put this together. But again, I'll do that in a separate video. So what we're going to do now is add a little for loop that will uh, take each of these values and actually get it down into the list down below. So we'll, yeah, close this off for now. Uh, we'll go back in here. We'll leave this up because we'll probably need to paste it in again. But what we'll do is we're right about here. Uh, we can probably take out that line. We don't need that anymore. We proved in the debugger that it's coming across. So we'll probably get rid of that afterwards. Now, uh, there's one thing we're going to need. We're going to need the select. So var the park selector is going to equal to document dot get element by id and then we got to go okay what exactly did i call that and like on this don't mess around just flip back to the file copy it it's a small typo can burn so much time 
in that. And so that should get you the park list. And now we're going to need is a for loop. And I'm going to try a different style of for loop. Uh, it's called a for of. So we'll go for. So for a row of. And that would be data as JSON. It's almost like a for each or for a for in. The for in in JavaScript is a little bit different than uh, the for in in Python and that. Uh, so for data as JSON. And then we'll just come in here with our braces. So this is like for doing a one in the many. So we use the of. If you have something like an array, of should work. So uh, of uh, one of the many, do the following. So I'm going to make a new thing called an option. An option is like a value that you see in a drop down list, an individual value. And then we put document, and it's usually uh, document.create element. There it is. So we need to create an element, and the element type, or the HTML element that we want to create is an option. There it is in the list. So we're going to create an option, then we need to set its value, and we'll go. Uh, Oops, option dot text is going to be equal to the row dot text. We're hoping. Again, this might not work, <laughs> so we'll do some debugging. Uh, option dot value is going to be equal to, I believe we called it in the end. I believe it's row dot value. I think I kept the names the same to keep the, make the coding easier. Now, could I peek at the JSON to figure that out? Probably. There's the text. That's the key. There's the value. Never hurts to double check. So uh, I've created the option and I've populated the values. Now it's really important to actually put that option back into the list. So park select, and it's going to be options. Uh, with an s dot add typically IntelliSense is failing me here but that's that's okay the option I just made so we're hoping we're hoping that works we're gonna find out real quick now uh, I'll probably control a control copy uh, control a control C to get uh, ready I'm gonna go back when I refresh this page, I'm probably going to lose this text. Uh, we'll probably build in a fetch to get rid of this eventually. But this is not a bad way to test. Uh, and that sort of thing. Load the list. Ooh la la. That was quick. That actually worked much cleaner than I thought. And the idea is that although this is the value we see for the user, uh, if we actually take a look at the... If we inspect it, will it be there? All the elements, maybe. Yeah, they're all there. The value's in the background. So the value is a, a longitude and a latitude. Now we can easily, once we grab that value, split it on the colon to get the X and Y values separated from each other. So that should work okay. Uh, might be close to the end here. Might have to do some cleanup. So before we do some cleanup, let's actually uh, make sure we can get that long lat value out. So again, I'll just close this window here. We'll go uh, back, and I'm going to add a function in that. So we'll just clean this up here. Uh, i got a function here. I'll grab it, and we will change the name. So we'll call this zoom map to park. And we'll uh, put an argument here called uh, long lat. So that's what's coming in. And we'll console just to prove that, hey, that's coming in long small l long lat. Again, just to prove that that is, we can get that value. Eventually, we'll use this later on in the assignment. Now we have to hook it up into our uh, our HTML. And so the the idea here is on this select, 
And so it's not on click, it'll be on change. There it is there. We want to run that uh, function. Never hurts to go back and say, well, just grab it. And we'll paste in there. Uh, so long lat's not going to exist on this side, but what is, is going to be this controls.value will exist. And that'll be that uh, la, la, launch to latitude separated by colon, that background value. Now, let's see, is this going to work? We hope. Lots of things can go wrong. Uh, let's grab uh, control copy the JSON. Then we'll go back here, reload it, put the JSON in. I'll load our list okay and then we don't know if anything is changing so we got to go back into inspect and then we'll go uh, take a look so zoom map to park is not defined do i believe that is there a small typo somewhere let's go take a look these things happen in that and so i do have a zoom map to park oh Bad Rob. Should have caught that. I put my function inside my other function. Bad, bad, bad. It's okay. That thing happens. I should have noticed that, you know, I didn't say anything. Indentation did fill off because this should have been flush. All right. And, that, and that's why uh, end of, who is this? Load list never hurts. And then. That looks much better there. Uh, I should put some more comments in. Never hurts. Uh, since I'm here. <laughs> Get the input. Controls. Uh, Ooh, don't do that. Grab this here. This is a. Uh, add the data to the list. So for the future, this will be this will zoom the map. For right now, we just want to make sure that's working. Uh, that could be enough that we just need to refresh the page. Should have grabbed that text. I'll pop back. We're going to do this enough that we're going to get annoyed. And we're going to be okay trying to figure out the code uh, to do a fetch. <laughs> oh, wrong stuff. Not what I want. Control A, Control C. Uh, Control A. I don't want any just raw JSON. Oh, a debugger. That's okay. We'll take that. Hit continue. Select another park. Getting a different lat long, fantastic. So I'm able to get that value. And that means in the, because that's coming across, I'm gonna be able to split that and use that to center the map in the future part of the assignment. So that's uh, it for now. Good luck.